Hello again, everyone. It's a Monster Beast, and I'm here for episode number three of the Townsend server. And as you can probably tell, I am standing in front of a giant dragon that I built. Yes, this dragon took me forever. Let me just drag that forever out forever. Forever. Okay, let me get a close up on that. Forever. It literally took me so long that if someone pranked me on this, I would be so, so upset. Anyways, um, yeah, so someone actually did try to prank me on this. And uh, they built the uh, other side of the wing in a girly way. And there was a sign here that said, save you some time and finish your wing. Cheers, mate. Huffle Duck. Okay. First of all, there's no way. I repeat, no way. That Huffle Duck would decorate my dragon in girly things. This could only be one person. Doodle Moose. But before we can go and get Doodle Moose, what we're actually going to have to do... Uh, what? Is there villagers? Um... Oh, oh my goodness. What is this? What? I have no idea this was here. Ah! I think someone built me. Welcome to Utter Beast, population 11, golems 2. <laughs> what is this? Who did this? I was not, I mean, I'm genuinely surprised at this. Like, I was not expecting to put this into the video right now and just stumbled upon this. This is great. Whoever built this, hang on, we can find out. Aragar. You dirty little dog. Yeah, I'm kind of at a loss of words um, for that. I was really not expecting to run into that, but that's that's completely and utterly hilarious. Um, but anyways, before, you know, we got to figure out who placed this sign. So let's just look and verify. I have a feeling it's Doodle Moose. And as you can see, it was Doodle Moose. I knew it could only be her because I, I left when she was on my dragon still. So... You know what that means? It's prank time. But before we do that, we really need to show you this dragon. I'm very, very proud of it. Uh, I did not get a time lapse of it. Uh, the recording mod that I was trying to install and all that stuff, it just, it didn't work. So I'm still working the kinks out in that. But uh, on later builds, and I'll explain more about what we're going to do later. But uh, in later builds, I will definitely have a time lapse here for you. But let's take a quick look around in spectator mode and just and just show you off this dragon. Okay, so here we are in spectator mode and I'll just give you a little bit of a, a shots of it. You can see the feet here and there's the uh, good old teeth. I, just, I went with uh, andesite, stone, quartz, and uh, diamond blocks for the eye, which I didn't want to get too much on. just wanted to use it for the eye. A little bit of red concrete up there just to kind of... I don't really know why I did that. Um, but, yeah, it's a massive, massive build, and it took me forever. But what I am most proud of is these wings. These wings were so hard to build. Um, just to think of how to do this. and uh, But I think I did a pretty good job. Um, and I did uh, look at some, some other designs of it to come up with this. Uh, but uh, it's a culmination of a bunch of people's designs um, and just my own thought process on what it looks like. But, what you know, whatever the case, it still looks really amazing. Now, what I'm, I'm thinking about doing here is building up this mountain to where the dragon statue sits on top of the mountain. And then we're going to kind of cut underneath and everything will be kind of like of a fantasy district here. Um, but think Dwarven. This is what I wanted to do. I've always wanted to build, and I want to challenge myself. 
I want to build a dwarven city within these mountains. So the first case is I'm going to have to kind of terraform and uh, get almost like good times with Scar here and just kind of build this mountain up to where this dragon statue can sit. There's going to be all kinds of waterfalls, everything you can imagine. Just imagine a small dwarven city. And that's what the whole entire goal is. And it begins with this build. This was a huge part of my whole entire plan and I'm so glad and so excited to see the results of it. It took so much time but I'm very very proud of this build and I hope that you guys like it as well. If so please give me a thumbs up on this video. Also don't forget to comment. That helps me out especially as a uh, small YouTuber. So hope you enjoy that. Now let's uh let's meet up with some friends here and uh let's do a prank on the zector and so here we are we're about to undergo the prank of the century think bird think diorite think massive amounts of diorite and then you have what we call our poop prank so before we reveal this prank we just got finished with it the time lapse is coming right after this, but first, drum roll please. But first. Boom. Look at all that chicken diorite. It's even got some seeds in it. And now to the time lapse. <laughs>
now that 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 prank is over, uh, it's been a little bit of time, and uh, I'm actually in the process of getting Doodle back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill her shop to the brim with cows, like so many cows. She she's she's gonna hate it or love it, one of the two. But either way, this thing is getting filled with cows. So I'm gonna give it a little bit, and uh, I'll come back when I have way more. It's gonna take a long time. So it's been a while now, and as you can tell, uh, I have succeeded in my mission of putting cows everywhere in her shop and closing them off. Now all I gotta do is leave. I'm telling you though, this is just way too much fun. <laughs> I'm cow surfing. <laughs> okay, so um, the cow thing ain't really working out. So I'm hoping that this uh, message no will work. Uh, just no, just no, just no, not ever, just no, don't prank my dragon. Um, I think I'm gonna get some lava. On second thought, after losing uh, about half of my stuff, um, lava is not the answer. I've got an even better idea. Let's just obsidian this up. Just make it really difficult for her to get in here. This should be hilarious. I'm not sure if she'll find this funny or not, but the point is, she pranked me, I'm gonna prank her back. And this time, instead of lava, I was trying to get the lava to go down into the there and just kind of make that all cobblestone. Um, I don't really know why, but uh, it, it didn't work out. The, the result was I lost, you know, over half of my stuff because I accidentally put it down and burned myself. Yeah, I know. Um, but uh, yeah, so I'm gonna cobble this up. Not cobble this up, <laughs> listen to me. I'm gonna put some obsidian all over this house to where she can't get in. And uh, I'll come uh, come right back when I got that done. All right, so uh, yeah, this is gonna be great when she comes back and finds her shop, you know, just literally obsidian over. <laughs> it's gonna be pretty funny. I really hope she has to suffer and, and uh, mine all this away. Like I had to mine all the way that, that wool on the dragon wing. Uh, I didn't get the clip of it. Uh, to show you, it was actually pretty, pretty funny. She, uh, she definitely, uh, I guess, uh, gave it some feminine qualities, as you could say. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, this, uh, this should send her a message that says, hey, don't prank me. <laughs> Especially my dragon. Anyways, guys, today has been a really, really fun episode. Two pranks. So that's all the time we actually have for now. But next time, um, look forward to getting on and working on this base. Uh, we've got a lot to do. So until next time, please make sure you subscribe. I'm in the race of subscribers. I'm being beaten by 20. I need 20 subscribers to hit 100. Help me out. Let's get to 100.